A very useful function in Excel is the network days. It helps you calculate the actual working days between two days. It excludes weekends and excludes holidays as well. Now let's see how this function works. Normally, if you want to find out the total number of days between two given dates, the simplest thing to do is just subtract the larger date and the smaller date. That is end date minus start date. Let's say in this particular case, I have taken the start date of 1st of January and the end date of 31st of December. If I just subtract the two, which is like equal to this date minus this date, I'll get 364. Of course, it won't include the first day, so I'll have to add one to it. This is what I get. But what if I have to calculate the working days between these two days? Now, the definition of working days is different in different countries and it is dependent upon what kind of weekend does a company follow or is being followed in a particular country. Generally, most of the people would follow a Saturday and Sunday off weekend, which is like Monday to Friday working. For that, we use the simple function called as network days. So we do equal to network days, the start date, which is this particular date, comma, the end date, which is this one, B3, and enter. So this gives me 261 between these two dates. Now, what if I want to exclude national holidays so that they are not shown up in the total working days? I will have to add all of those dates in a separate place and then call them out here. The simplest way to do this is to add a calendar like what I've done in this particular tab is I have added a holiday calendar for 2021. You can see that all of those holidays have been listed over here. And then what we can do is that all of these dates together, we can call it a named range. Like here, this particular range, if you see here in the name box, it's called holidays. So let's add those also in our function equal to network days start date this particular date comma the end date b3 comma and i now need to list the holidays it was in square brackets which was an optional thing over here but now if i want to add it over here i'll have to add the named range holidays as soon as i start typing the name of the named range it will show up h o l i here you can see the named range i'll click on it holidays is added bracket close and enter so you can see earlier it was a different number i think it was 264 but now it's 250 because now the national holidays have also been removed from it. now as i said earlier it's not necessary that everybody has the same weekend or the same holidays it could be because of the job requirement or it could be because in a different country you could have different weekends for that we use a function called network days dot international let's see how it is used the function will be equal to network days dot I N T L bracket start start date which is this particular date B2 comma end date which is B3 comma and as soon as I press the comma it will show me options for the weekend here you can see these options so if it is Saturday and Sunday it's going to be one Sunday Monday it's going to be two three four and so on you can see that we have got 17 different options and all the different combinations are covered in these options let me select Friday and Saturday bracket close and enter so this gives me the working days for 2021 if we are having weekend on Friday and Saturday. Similar to the previous example, you can input a holiday calendar over here and then call it out. Let's say in this particular example, use the same holiday calendar equal to network days dot intl bracket start start date comma end date comma we have used option number seven comma holidays. We are going to use the named range holidays. Here it comes, click on it, bracket close and enter. Now I think it should be easier for you to just see what are the total working days for any particular employee or see how many working days you can get in a month and do your calculations accordingly. Want to learn about more interesting functions in Excel? Just click on the link that you see on the screen. And until next time, bye-bye.